హలో నమస్తే వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు మెర్సి స్టడీ సర్కిల్ నేను మీ మెరిసిని ఈరోజు చెప్పుకోబోయే టాపిక్ ఏంటంటే నైన్త్ క్లాస్ ఇంగ్లీష్ న్యూ సిలబస్ నుండి టోటల్ లెసన్స్కి సంబంధించిన గ్రామర్ పార్ట్కి ఆన్సర్స్ అయితే తెలుసుకుందాం ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇవి అన్ని లెసన్స్కి సంబంధించిన గ్రామర్ వాటికి సంబంధించిన ఆన్సర్లు ఇది ఓన్లీ టెక్స్ట్ బుక్కి సంబంధించిన క్వశ్చన్ బ్యాంక్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వాటికి సంబంధించిన ఆన్సర్లు అన్నీ ఈ ఒక్క వీడియోలో ఉన్నాయి సో ఈ ఒక్క వీడియో మీకు సరిపోతుంది ఫ్రెండ్స్ నైన్త్ క్లాస్ ఇంగ్లీష్ టోటల్ సిలబస్కి సంబంధించిన గ్రామర్కి ఆన్సర్లు అయితే ఈ వీడియోలో తెలుసుకుందాం అందుకంటే ముందు మన ఛానల్ ఫస్ట్ టైం కనుక చూస్తున్నట్లయితే మీ లైక్ అండ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్తో నాకు సపోర్ట్ చేయండి ఫ్రెండ్స్ మీట్ చేసే సపోర్ట్ ద్వారా మరి ఎన్నో వీడియోస్ చేయడానికి నాకు కూడా ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఉంటుంది ప్లీజ్ ఫస్ట్ టైం కనుక చూస్తున్నట్లయితే మన ఛానల్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేయండి ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇంకా లేట్ చేయకుండా టాపిక్లోకి అయితే వెళ్ళిపోదామా యూనిట్ వన్ ద ఫన్ దే హ్యాడ్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ యాడ్ వర్బ్స్ ఫైన్ ద సెంటెన్స్ ఇన్ ద లెసన్ విచ్ హ్యావ్ ద యాడ్ వర్బ్స్ గివెన్ ఇన్ ద బాక్స్ బిలో నా వ్యూస్ దిస్ యాడ్ వర్బ్స్ టు ఫిల్ ఇన్ ద బ్లాంక్స్ ఇన్ ద సెంటెన్స్ బిలో దీస్ ఆర్ ద ఆన్సర్స్ to the fill in the blanks and the next one make adverbs from these adjectives these are the adverbs from those adjectives and the next one complete the following conditional sentences use the correct form of the verbs these are the answers to complete the following conditional sentences from unit number 2 the sound of music section 1 thinking about the text tick the right answer answers for the first roman tick the right answer roman number 2 find the words in the text which show ustad bismillah khan's feelings about the items listed below then mark it tick in the quad column discuss your answers in class these are the answers to the roman number 2 section number 2 thinking about language look at these sentences Evelyn was de- determined to live a normal life. Evelyn managed to conceal her growing deafness from friends and teachers. The italicized parts answer the questions. What was Evelyn determined to do and what did Evelyn manage to do? They begin with a two verb to live to conceal. Complete the following sentences beginning with a two verb. try to answer the questions in brackets these are the answers beginning with a two verb roman number 2 from the text on bismillah khan find the words and phrases that match these definitions and write them down the number of the paragraph where you will find the words or phrases has been given for you in brackets these are the phrases or words that match those definitions tick the right answer these are the answers to write on this third unit the little girl section number 1 thinking about the text given below are some emotions that kz have felt match the emotions in column a with the items in column b these are the answers to the match the following roman number 1 use an appropriate word from the synonyms given above in the following sentences clues are given in brackets these are the answers to fill in our blanks Roman number 2 study the use of the word big in the following sentence he was so big his hands and his neck especially his mouth here big means large in size now consult your dictionary and find out the meaning of big in the following sentences the first one has been done for you these are the answers for the above roman underline the verbs of reporting in the following sentences These are the verbs to be underlined in that section. Number 2. Some verbs of reporting are given in the box. Choose the appropriate verbs and fill in the blanks in the following sentences. These are the answers to the above number. Section. Unit number 4. A truly beautiful mind. Thinking about language. Section number 1. Here are some sentences from the story. Choose the word from the brackets which can be substituted for the italicized words in the sentences. These are the answers to the above section. Study the following sentences and complete the sentences below by filling in the blanks with suitable participle clauses. The information that has to be used in the phrases is provided as a sentence in brackets. These are the answers for the above section. To get this type of videos please like share and subscribe unit number 5 the snake and the mirror thinking about language 
section number one. Here are some sentences from the text. Say which of them tell you that the author was afraid of the snake, was proud of his appearance, had a sense of humor, was no longer afraid of the snake. These are the answers. Section number two. Expressions used to show fear. Can you find the expressions in the story that tell you that the author was frightened? Read the story and complete the following sentences. These are the answers. Section number three. In the sentences given below, some words and expressions are italicized. They are variously mean that one is very frightened, is too scared to move, is frightened by something that happens suddenly, makes another feel frightened. Match the meanings with the words or expressions in italics and write the appropriate meaning next to the sentence. The first one has been done for you. These are the answers to the above section. Section number 4. Reported questions. Report these questions using if, whether, why, when, where, how, which, what. Remember, the italicized verbs change into the past tense. These are the answers to the above section. Unit number 6. My childhood. Thinking about the language. Roman number 1. Match the phrases in column A with their meanings in column B. These are the answers to the above Roman. Roman number 2. Study the words in italics in the sentences below. They are formed by prefixing un or in to their antonyms. Words opposite in meaning. Now form the opposites of the words below by prefixing un or in. The prefix in can also have the form il, ir or im. For example, illiterate, ill, plus illiterate, impractical, im plus practical, irrational, ir plus rational. You may consult a dictionary if you wish. These are the answers. Roman number 4. Rewrite the sentences below, changing the verbs in brackets into the passive form. These are the answers. Roman number 4. Rewrite the paragraphs below using the curved form of the verb given in the brackets. These were the answers. Unit number 7. Reach for the top. Section number 1. Thinking about language. Identify the two parts in the sentence below by underlining the part that gives us the information in brackets as shown above. Where other girls wore traditional Indian dresses, Shantosh preferred shorts. Contrasts her dress with that of others. These are the answers. Roman number 2. Now rewrite the pairs of sentences given below as one sentence. These are the answers. Unit number 8. Kathmandu. Thinking about language. Roman number 1. Read the following sentences carefully to understand the meaning of the italicized phrases. Then match the phrasal verbs in column A with their meanings to column B. These are the answers. Roman number 2. Use the suffixes ion or shion to form nouns from the following verbs. Make the necessary changes in the spellings of the words. Example, proclaim, proclamation. These are the answers. Section 2 in Roman number 2. Now fill in the blanks with suitable words from the ones that you have formed. These are the answers. Roman number 4. Simple present tense. Fill in the blanks with the curved form of the verb in brackets. These are the answers. Unit number 9. If I were you, thinking about language. Roman number 1. Consult your dictionary and choose the curved word from the pairs given in brackets. These are the answers. Roman number 2. Read the play carefully and find the words and expressions Gerard uses in an ironic way. Then say what these expressions really mean. Two examples have been given below. Write down three more such expressions along with what they really mean. These are the answers. So, this is the teachers. Total lessons are the grammar part. If you are first time, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please like this video. Thank you. Thank you for watching.